Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to use the new portrait and skin retouching filters that are in Luminar 4 to take an image like this and end up with an image that looks like this. A little over a week ago, I posted a video where I demonstrated the new portrait retouching and skin retouching filters that are in Luminar 4. After that video posted, I received a lot of different comments and questions about these filters. The most common question I received is, what if you have more than one person in the shot? How do you go about doing it? And the most common comment I received was, well, you know, that's a studio shot. You had controlled lighting conditions. How do these filters perform with an existing light shot? So I have this image here. It's an existing light shot. The light wasn't that great. Uh, the background is much brighter than their faces. And also, uh, there's more than one person in the shot. So I'm going to demonstrate how these filters work and how you would go about using them when you have more than one person in the image. Now, there has been no processing done on this at all. It's a straight raw file, nothing has been done. So I'm just going to go right to the portrait retouching uh, filters, mainly the AI Skin Enhancer and Portrait Enhancer. And as is often the case, uh, you may have to do a different amount of skin softening on one person compared to another person, and of course, portrait uh, retouching as well. This is where you would use layers and masks. So what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, process Joe's face first, and then we'll go over and do Sydney's face on a different layer. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the Skin Enhancer first, and I am going to uh, click on uh, AI Skin Detects Remove Defects Removal, I'm sorry, and then I'm going to move the amount slider up. And you can see that it is affecting both faces. We don't want it to affect both faces because Joe needs a little more softening, I think, than Sydney. So we just want to work on Joe's face. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here where it says Edit Masks. Edit Mask, I'm sorry. And we're going to click on Brush. And we're going to go up here and we're going to paint in the adjustment. And what we're going to do, we have a brush. And we're just going to paint it on his face. And you'll notice here, I'm going to, for demonstration purposes, put this all the way up at 100 and let it render. And once it does, now you'll see it's really softened both faces. Now you'll see as soon as I click once on his face, it will remove it from Sydney's face and now it's just on his face. So we're gonna just paint it on his face. Now I'm not gonna leave it at 100, but I just wanted to make sure that you could see what I was doing. I'm gonna get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key, the right bracket key makes it larger. And I'm just going to go on the skin of his face. And what I could do is over here, where it's uh, got this little eye, I click on that and we get a red overlay, shows us our mask. And we can make sure we're not missing any spots. I'm going to leave his ears out of it. So we have that. So I'm going to dial this down. Now you can see it's only affecting Joe's face. So I'm going to bring it down to something more realistic. Maybe around 45, that looks all right. Maybe a tiny bit higher. Let's go to 50. All right, so we did the skin adjustment. It's just on Joe's face. Now I'm gonna to go to the portrait enhancer filter and work on Joe's face as well. But while I'm here, I'm gonna go, while I'm still on the AI skin enhancer, I'm gonna go up here where it says mask, and I'm going to, going to copy this mask because I'm gonna later paste that to the portrait enhancer. So we'll go to the portrait enhancer and we're going to add a face light to brighten up his face. Now you'll see, because there's no mask on this filter, that it's brightening both of their faces. And we don't want it to do that. We want it to just do Joe's. So we're going to again go down here to Edit Mask. And we're going to click on the brush. And then what we're going to do is just, again, click once on his face. But then after I do that, I'll go over here where it says mask again, and I'm going to paste the mask we just drew from the previous filter. So now it's just affecting Joe's face. See, I'll turn it way up, way down. You can see it's only on his face now. All right? So we're going to do a little eye whitening. We're going to enhance his eyes a little bit. We're going to 
Remove some of the dark circles under his eyes. I'm going to do that pretty high. These are kind of dark. I'm not going to slim face or enlarge his eyes. I'm going to improve his eyebrows. I'm going to add a very little bit of lip saturation, lip redness, lip darkening, and his teeth aren't showing, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're done with Joe. Joe is done. Uh, and you can see it didn't affect Sydney at all. So if I, if I turn that filter off and on, you could see that once it renders, it just affects Joe. Now, what we want to do now is a separate set of adjustments for Sydney. So I'm going to go up here to the Layers tab, and I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. So this is Adjustment Layer 1. Now we're going to go back down here to our Portrait uh, Enhance filter down here. And we're going to uh, again go to the AI Skin Enhancer. And again, this is for Sydney only. Uh, but it's going to at first affect both faces. So I just need to do it a little bit for her. But for demonstration, just for now, I'm going to throw it at 100. Now it's affecting both faces. We want it to only affect Sydney's face. So we're going to go to Edit Mask. We're going to go to Brush. And now we're going to paint in the adjustment on her face. And I'm going to get a larger brush. Now I'm just going to start painting on her face. And it will remove this adjustment from Joe's face. I'm just going to go real quick, all right? Kind of a sloppy job, but we'll click on the little eyeball. I didn't miss anywhere, so that's good. So now it's on her face, but it's way too high. She doesn't need that much skin cell. So we're going to just bring it down just a little bit, maybe around 30. That looks pretty good. So that's the skin retouching on her face. Now I'll turn it off. And you'll see that it's just on his face. It didn't affect Joe's face at all because we have the mask. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy this mask. All right. So now we're going to go to the portrait enhancer and we're going to add a face light first. And you'll see it'll affect both faces. Again, we only want it to affect Sydney's face. So we're going to go down here to edit mask. We're going to go to the brush. I'll click once on her face. And then I'll go up here to the mask and I'll paste the adjustment on her face. Now you can see it's just affecting her face. All right. Now um, we'll whiten her eyes a little. We'll enhance her eyes a little. A little bit of darkness under her eyes. We'll move that. And I'm not going to slim face or enlarge eyes. I will uh, darken her eyebrows a touch. I am going to saturate her lips a lot more and lip redness a lot more than Joe's, lip darkening a lot more than Joe's, and her teeth aren't showing. So there, we used two different layers. One layer, the first layer, we did Joe's face. And the second layer, we did Sydney's face. Now, we could come in and we could go and do other adjustments. Now, remember, this was, I didn't do anything. I think typically you would probably want to do, you know, uh, regular adjustments first. In this case, I'm just going to go to AI structure and I'm going to put that up. And you're going to see how that will not affect their face. It's going to affect their clothing and the background. So with those uh, three filters, I really process the image. I probably could come up here though and um, I want to add a vignette. So we'll add a vignette to finish this off. Just like that. So that's it. That's really how you go about uh, adjusting more than one person in the shot. You have to do each person on a different layer and then you know you could quickly finish off the image with AI structure and a vignette and you're done. Also, uh, the image wasn't a great image. It was existing light. The light wasn't very good. The background was very bright. And typically, when I take existing light portraiture, I prefer the background to be a little darker so the person's face stands out naturally a little more. In this case, if I do a before, the faces came out kind of muddy because the background was so bright. But then after, you could see using those uh, filters, we could brighten everything up. So I hope that answered uh, most of those questions. And I do uh, thank everyone for asking the questions. I really do appreciate everyone's uh, enthusiasm about the software. It's really interesting. And um, 
I think, kind of revolutionary. I think it's the way this kind of artificial intelligence type uh, processing, in my opinion, is where everything is moving. And um, I'm pretty impressed with the software, to say the least. So uh, in the description below the video, I'll have the gear I used, the settings I had for the gear uh, for taking this shot. Um, also, I mentioned in the previous video, I'll mention now, is I am an affiliate for uh, Skylum Software, the creator of Luminar. And Luminar, this is a pre-release that I have. It's not released as of yet, but they do have a pre-release sale, and there'll be links uh, for that in the description below the video as well. And you could save quite a bit of money if you buy it during this pre-release sale. Um, if you could do me a favor while you're down there, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on that little bell so you get updates. Also, follow me on Instagram. I am at Anthony Morganti on Instagram, and I'll have a link for that in the description below the video as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.